Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and it's been a while since I've done a construction update on the DreamWorks Land coming to Universal Studios Florida, but I decided, yeah, some major progress has been made since the one we did a few months ago, so let's get right to it here. All puddles, once again, once again thanks to BioReconstruct on Twitter, go ahead and follow him on x slash Twitter. Fantastic source of news and information provides even more pictures than what I snapshotted here. But yeah, let's take a nice overview of this small land. This is the former kids zone area from Universal Studios Florida. And yeah, now it's being rethemed to the DreamWorks, uh, DreamWorks land. No new rides will be coming here, but a rethemed roller coaster as well as new meet weeds will be coming here as well. And this will be reopening in 2024. Let's start over at the top here. You can see this will be the Kung Fu Panda, or this is rumored to be the Kung Fu Panda area. This comp uh, comprises of a play area and will have the uh, meet and greet for Kung Fu Panda. Not sure if Mr. Ping's Noodles will be here. Mr. Ping's Noodles was uh, used to come to Chinese New Year, or Lunar New Year, when at Universal Studios Hollywood when they had that a few years ago. They haven't had it since the pandemic, but hopefully they bring that back because it would comprise a really cool meet and greet, just like the Donkey meet and greet and Transformers. All those cool meet and greets that Universal has, there would be one for Mr. Ping and at his noodle shop, and then you can go and get some noodles. So, hopefully, that one will make a permanent appearance here in Florida um, because that is super cool. But it, Universal did file a patent for a some sort of interactive meet and greet with maybe Poe at least, so that would be really cool. And it looks like they are reusing that play area that was there before. Moving on over here to the troll, rumored to be a troll's area. Um, to the left there is the troller coaster which will have a better in-depth look at but um really cool name again it's like velocity coaster that has those kind of vibes with mixing obviously velociraptor and roller coaster this is trolls and roller coaster troller coaster and the new trolls movie trolls band together actually comes out next month so it's all it'll be a little bit late but it'll kind of tie into that kind of semi synergy again it might be a little bit too late but there'll be some new dreamworks movies um at least within the within the year of this opening so that's cool and in this area will have again some more cool trolls meet and greets and i don't think a play area but mostly just the trolls thematic meet and greet moving on to my favorite area of the park this is going to be the shrek area yes you can even see shrek's house is probably the most besides the troller coaster the most visual thematic element that is here it is currently being framed and we'll have an in-depth shot or like a closer shot from the ground at in a second here but yeah this would be a thematic meet and greet inside shrek's house which is awesome be like mickey's house the mickey mini meet and greet so we can meet mickey inside his house super cool and this meet and greet this is what the new donkey meet and greet is expected to be and hopefully uh, because yeah, Universal Studios Florida's donkey is not the greatest looking one. So hopefully they get a better version, much like Universal Studios Hollywood. We have a much more accurate looking donkey. Hopefully Florida gets that because the other donkey is, uh, it looks like a fifth grader did it. And actually I think a fifth grader can do even better. So hopefully they get that better meet and greet. And then you can meet all the characters, Shrek, Fiona, and Puss in Boots and all those guys right in this location which would be quite awesome here's that closer view you can see look at that and that, it's pretty tall um considering for other things in the area this new uh the shrek south shrek, shrek swamp here um and look at the arrow here by that tree that's like what like at least what maybe like 30 40 feet or higher that'd be nice little uh pinnacle nice little visual weenie as they call it that's it draw people in into the land and Here's another shot, a bigger shot of the troller coaster. You can see there, this used to be Woody Woodpecker's coaster when this, this whole area was uh, based on him in Five Wolves Playland. Now it got repainted from its red to some cool troll colors, um, kind of like yellows and pinkish colors. It looks really nice. Hopefully, maybe they can add some animatronics or something um, as you go through it. It's a small coaster, it's about the same length as. I think it's the same model as Gadget's Go Coaster, um, so it's about that length. The, that'd be cool if they had some more theming. I like how they themed the roof there, but maybe even in the queue, an animatronic troll, or just even just a statue of a troll or something. I'm, I'm curious to see what they do with that. But this area, you'll be able to meet 
all the trolls and they'll have a meet and greet that'll be near the exit of this roller coaster. So that's gonna do it for this quick update on the DreamWorks area coming to Universal Studios Florida. Are you excited for this area? Universal Studios Florida is definitely getting some upgrades in both the parks are uh, so they can get some uh, retain some crowds before they all go to Epic Universe in 2025. Universal Studios Florida just opened Minion Land and as well the new, as well as the new Villain Con Minion Blast this summer and next year they'll be having this so 2025 of course will be for Epic Universe from 2026 that's when uh, Zelda will be rumored to be opening an Islands of Adventure and then maybe some big expansions coming to this park in 2027 so exciting times up ahead for Universal Studios Florida and the whole Universal Orlando Resort what's your favorite what do you guys think of this nice little retheme um, Kid Zone the Cur Kid Zone curse is finally broken guys super exciting let me know in the comments below subscribe for more theme park updates and also join our brand new membership club 722 club 722 um you get perks and stickers for joining the first 100 people to join so check that out the link is in the description below so check all that out subscribe for more theme park updates and have a dreamworks day